Summary of Everyday Use by Alice Walker Mama, the first person narrator of everyday use, talks about her relationship with her daughter Dee when Dee, an educated young African-American woman, goes back to her childhood home in the Deep South. Mama and Maggie, Dee's sister and Mama's younger daughter, get ready for the visit. This is where the story starts. Maggie changes her clothes while Mama imagines getting back together with her daughter on a TV show led by Johnny Carson. Mama then says that her dream isn't possible because she doesn't think she's the kind of person who would be on a show like that. Mama looks around the yard and at Maggie while she waits for Dee. This makes her think of Dee's troubled youth in their house, including her anger at her family and their poverty, her desire for better clothes and an education, her charm, confidence, and beauty. Mama thinks about how Dee's attitude toward them went from being angry to hurtfully condescending as she got a better education with money from Mama and the church. Mama compares Dee as a child to Maggie, a shy, kind, ugly young woman with a scar on her face from when the house burned down. Mama talks about the scary fire that burned down their house and forced them to build a new one, which is where they live now. At last, Dee and Hakima Barber, her partner, get to the house. Dee is wearing an African-style dress that is beautiful, bright, and goes all the way to the floor. She says her name is Wangaro, not Dee, and explains that she changed it so that she wouldn't be called after her oppressors. Mama isn't sure about either of these choices at first, but she decides she likes the dress. Mama tells Dee that her name comes from her Aunt Dicey, but she agrees to call her by the name she picked. Dee takes photos of her family in front of their home. She and Hakima Barber eat with Mama and Maggie. Dee loves the collard greens and pork, but Hakima Barber doesn't like the food the family makes. Mama said that Dee used to look down on the family's things, but now, to everyone's surprise, she wants them. She likes the old chairs and gushes over her grandmother's butter dish. She also wants the top of the family's butter churn to decorate her home. Mama gives in and lets Dee have the churn. Dee insists on taking her grandmother's blankets home with her after dinner so she can hang them on her walls. Mama, on the other hand, was going to give the blankets to Maggie. Mama says no because she promised them to Maggie, and Dee gets mad. She says Maggie can't enjoy the quilts and will wear them out with everyday use. Mama brushes off Dee's anger by saying that Maggie can just make new quilts since she knows how to sew. Dee says that the quilts are priceless and that Mama doesn't understand her history. Still, Mama won't give the quilts to Dee. Instead, she throws them on Maggie's lap. Dee leaves at the end of the story, leaving Mama and Maggie alone in the house. About the author Alice Walker was born in Etonon, Georgia, the eighth and last of eight children. Her parents were sharecroppers, and she was the last of their children. Walker lost the sight in one eye when she was young because of an accident with a BB gun. Walker went to Spelman College for a while, but later switched to Sarah Lawrence College, where she got her degree in 1965. Walker's most well-known work, The Color Purple, came out in 1982. The book won the Pulitzer Prize in 1983. Walker fights for equal rights for women and people of different races. She has written more than 30 novels, nonfiction books, collections of short stories and poems. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.